Okay, hi, I'm Michael Wolf, and I'm going to talk to you about my concept of rhythmic modes. We know about scalar modes, right? G Dorian. You could do a whole tune in G Dorian. like uh, modes like that you can have rhythmic modes and there were these things called isorhythmic motets and isorhythmic motets were music from a long time ago and they had certain uh, rhythms ascribed to the songs and no matter what you did with the notes what different notes you use you always use those rhythms for instance in a 6-8 or 12-8 kind of feel it might be da 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 so everything was the That might be a song. You wouldn't even have to write out the rhythms. Or it could be da 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 da. Whatever it was, these were rhythmic modes. So I think this concept applies to the popular music that we play, whether it be rock, funk, Latin, jazz. And the concept is I'm going to base this in relationship to the quarter note this kind of regular quarter note. Let's say we have this. That's a quarter note. Well, to have two notes inside of this rhythmic it would be eighth notes. So this is the eighth note. Right? Two against the one. Four against that would be sixteenths. did three against this single quarter note, you'd have eighth note triplets. So each of these has a different feel implied. Let's say we're doing, uh, with the eighths, a, a Latin piece. We're going one, two, three, four. That's the quarter note, but what we're going to feel inside is one and two and three and four. We're going to feel eighth notes. Well, here's the quarter notes. Just playing uh, every eighth note, it's all within the eighth note. It doesn't mean we can't play faster either. So that would be A. Sixteenths would be more of a funk thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, so when it comes to jazz, the triplet is the home base interkinetic rhythm. Here's our quarter note. All right, and the triplet, right? Now, I, you know, the triplet is going on inside my body. I'm feeling it as a quarter note's going. I'm feeling one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, I can play each of those, but I can just play one of those triplets. I mean, if you're obviously if it's the first one, it's just a quarter note, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'll play them all. I'll play them 
play the first and last, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. faster version of jazz triplets deca 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 that's every triplet but the the thing you would hear really is That's very stiff. What I would usually do is lay a little bit back, maybe, and accent the third one. So, that, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. But I might, you know, now there's a whole thing about rhythm where the quarter note could be here, but you don't have to be exact with the quarter note. You can kind of mess around and go a little bit ahead, a little bit behind. straight A's. Like the triplet. Now 16's. said on everything that I teach. This is just giving you general uh, academic pedantic ways of looking at it. When you do music, you don't music do music like this. You don't say, now I'm going to do triplets, now I'm going to do sixteenths, or it's going to be stiff. You always mix and match and make it all different. So if I'm playing a solo... <laughs> inside my body is still if I'm 16 so. now you sit down and try all these different rhythmic things and just think about rhythm don't worry about the notes too much <laughs> <laughs> 